Greetings to the Empire Squadron and fans of indoor soccer and welcome to the preseason interview episodes of Striking Fury, the official podcast for the major arena soccer league's Empire Strikers. Y'all know me at this point. We're going on season four already. But just in case you knew, like my guest is, my name is Christian Philemon, also known as Philly. And on today's episode, we're going to be chatting with one of the newest members of the Strikers. A young man that came to the Empire by way of San Antonio, Texas, and Marymount, California University. He also most recently featured in the USA vs. Mexico game, held at Toyota Arena a little over a month ago. We've got Randy Martinez, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Empire, Randy, and welcome to Striking Fury. Thanks, Philly. Nice, nice to be here. It's great to have you here, man. And first and foremost, I just got to say how excited and how impressed we are with you. I mean, I know we've heard a lot of great things about you as a player and as a person, but uh, it was an honor to have called your first moments on the turf at Toyota Arena, and we're really excited to have you as a member of our team. Thank you, Philly. I, I appreciate it. It's a uh, it's nice feeling to be here. Well, we're, we're lucky to have you. Now, Randy, we're going to play a little game here today. It's going to be called the Getting to Know You Game, something you know an awful lot about. You ready to rock? I'm ready to rock. All right. It was mentioned that you came up by way of Texas and a couple of other places from what you'd mentioned to me off the air. Now, the Lone Star States, for those of you who don't know, yes, that's Texas. But talk to us about, you know, how you grew up playing the game and what brought you actually to the beautiful game to begin with. Okay, so, yeah, I um, started out in California when I was about three to four years old, um, San Bernardino, California, and uh, fell in love with the game played the game in California for about 13 or 14 years. And then that's when I moved out to Texas and I continued the game. You know, it, it was a family sport. Um, my dad played, my brother played, and I wanted to continue it. So yeah, that's, that's how that started. All right. So then I'm going to have to ask you a question to see how well you and I are going to get along moving forward. Now, Obviously, you fell in love with this game really early. Like, who was one of your favorite players growing up? And here's an important one. What was your favorite team growing up? Okay, so favorite team, that one's easy. I, I've always supported Arsenal. Man, I'm surrounded by Gunners everywhere I go. The <laughs> Dr. Panda. Jimmy, I got Gunners left and right. Unbelievable. Another Arsenal fan. Yeah, uh, I'm a Gunner. Um, favorite, favorite player? Uh, well, that one's a kind of a tough one because I always enjoyed, you know, watching Messi. Um, but to not be basic, <laughs> I, I enjoyed watching Samir Nasri play. Okay. Samir Nasri, he was on Arsenal. I enjoyed watching him a lot. Um, he stood out to me the most. And, um, it, it's funny because I have. I have a picture that I edited myself where um, I was playing and I did a certain type of move and my body physique is the same, same as a picture that was taken of, of Nasri. So I put us both side by side and, and I still have it. Yeah. So I, I'd have to say favorite player, uh, Samir Nasri. Would you say he's the player that you emulate your game from? Oh, <sighs> I don't know. You know, that's a good question because, you know, I, I do like, I do like Neymar. I do like his flair, but then again, I do like Nasri and I do like Iniesta and, and Xavi, uh, the way they, they make things look so simple just by, you know, keeping it simple. So yeah, it, it's kind of a mixture of, of a bunch of other players. Well, I could tell you, you're going to get along real well with a lot of people in this organization because I swear to God, everybody's an Arsenal fan. It's, it's hilarious. <laughs> Nothing wrong with Arsenal. I mean, I've, I've been to the Emirates. My wife's a big fan. It's just, yeah, Arsenal left and right. All good, though. All good, though. Nasri was a great answer. I That's one I haven't heard in all my years interviewing players. I usually hear, you know, the likes of a Messi. Uh, a Ronaldinho yeah. usually comes up a bit, but that's that's original. That I will never forget for as long as you and I know each other, which I hope to be a really long time. Now, yeah. you obviously, other than like having watched you recently, I know a little bit about your background. You mentioned Juco. You traveled around England and Sweden a bit from what you were telling me. You know, but obviously give us a little like quick insight as to, you know, your footballing career and then what led you here to the Empire? Right. Okay. So um, 
I kind of prepared myself for this question. I was hoping you were going to ask me this question, but uh, so coming out of high school, I uh, went to JUCO for a year and a half, um, 2015 to the ending of 2016. And that next half a year, I took a break from JUCO and I went to England in July, 2017 for, for five and a half to six months. Um, I went over there and I played non-league. Where at, if you don't mind me asking? Um, I was in Birmingham, Birmingham, okay. England. Right. So does that mean yes. you, uh, you you had any time at Aston Villa or at Birmingham City? No, no, no. I wish, but uh, it was more of a non-league, like teams like Boldmere, Knoll, or Paget Range. You know, just like lower lower league teams. But um, Did you get to go to Villa yeah. Park at least. No, but I went to uh, Blues Stadium. Ah, I went okay. to the Blue Stadium against Villa. Ah. You know, so that was, yeah, that was, uh, I, I really enjoyed that, yeah. Um, That's a cool experience. Yeah, so came back at the ending of December from England. And in 2018 of August, I committed to Marymount um, California University in Palos Verdes for half a, half, a, half a semester. That's when I started my bachelor's. Um, Went home in December, and because of that break, I went to Sweden for two weeks, and that was more of a, a pay to go to Sweden. You get housing, you get food, and you get to play against professional teams, and you get to you know showcase what you, what you have. And that didn't work out, so I came home. And I did some schooling over here at a, at a local college and I finished my associates. And during all this time, I, I do the, you know, like I said, the UPSL, MPSL, Sunday League and all that. So I'd, I'd still keep at it. I'd still be playing and I'd still train with my friends all the time. And um, 2020 of February, I wanted to go back to school and I wanted to go ca to California. You know, I, I always feel like I'm at home when I'm in California. I've always wanted to go back. So I, uh, I contacted the Marymount coaches and they wanted me to, to go train and, and, um, see what I see what I could do so I can possibly commit to, to the team, the upcoming semester. So we ended up, uh, committing, ended up going as planned and the season got canceled due to COVID. And that um, whole year we did um, virtual schooling. And that was, a, that was a, a really big blow because I was looking forward to going to California. And um, the good thing about it though, on the good side is that the school, they let us take extra credits you know, because of COVID, they felt like we could handle more, you know, being home, hand, um, doing school virtually. So I finished my bachelor's degree. And um, because of COVID, we got an extra year of eligibility to play. And um, since I had only competed three years of uh, athletics, I used my final year of eligibility to finish my master's. And my school, they have it set up to where you can complete your master's in a year and a half. So that whole year, I, I did my master's and I finished my master's. And um, after that, I came in touch with an agent from my friend. He plays pro now in USL. He helped me out, get in touch with him. And the agent actually got me a couple of tryouts with the USL teams. Those didn't work out. And um, fast forward to June 2023rd is when Seth messaged me on Instagram and he asked me, you know, um, if I'd be interested in coming out to the trial in, in August. And at first, I didn't really know how I felt about it because it was indoor. Um, and actually, I wasn't too keen on it because I've played indoor here at a local facility. And I've seen many injuries from indoor, you know, people say, you know, the turf doesn't go well with your knees, blah, blah, blah all that stuff. So, um, yeah, I've seen many injuries and I was just thinking, uh, I don't, I don't know about, it. I don't know about that, but 
I thought, why not in the end? And um, yeah, I went and the whole tryout went well. Um, you know, the first day we had about 30 players. So that was, that was kind of hectic, but the second day was a lot better. Um, numbers, you know, uh, got shorter. Um, I felt like I got more on the ball. I felt like I could express myself more. And, you know, um, fortunately for me, um, I was chosen for the USA Mexico game. Um, and that brought me, yeah, that, that brought me to the, to the USA Mexico game. And, um, yeah, that was, that was a whole an experience in itself. An experience indeed. And you want to know something else that, you know, you talked about turf, not being good on the knees. You know what else isn't good on the knees, my man? What? Age. Age is not good on the knees, but that's not anything you got to worry about, at least for the time being. Yeah. And obviously, you would impress the coaches enough to give you the opportunity to feature in that USA Mexico game. Spoke very loud and clear as to the type of player that you were and are, for that matter. And obviously, that was a trial run. Now you're on the team. Now, talk to us a little bit about that USA Mexico game and being that that was your first experience with a bunch of professionals, guys that really are legendary in this league. And you played against a Mexico team, which I don't know if you knew this, but a lot of those members comprised of the, uh, the championship team out of Chihuahua last season. Talk to us about, you know, that game and, and how you felt in it, playing it, so on and so forth. Yeah. So, um, I mean, like you said, my, my first pro indoor experience, I was nervous. I, I I was nervous, and um, it wasn't so much about the fans. You know, they they said how much how many fans were there? A few thousand fans. It wasn't really so much about the fans. It was just about um, the playing the playing part, the aspect of of the rules and and what you have to do and the subbing out and and all that. So that was all that was all new to me. And yeah, that made me nervous. But um, before, when I flew out there, you know, met, met the guys and all that, and I tried to make myself acquainted with them. And yeah, I just, all good guys, I just asked them questions. The day, the the morning of the game, I asked them as many questions as, as I could. I tried learning, you know, um, seeing what type of knowledge they can, they can give me so I can learn that way. Um, but you you don't really the you don't really get the full feeling of it until you're actually there you you're actually in the game so um i enjoyed it though it it was it was all it was all learning experience it was great great for me to be a part of that um it was uh it was yeah it was a good experience for sure and here you are now a member of the Empire Strikers, a professional indoor soccer player in the Major Arena Soccer League. What what a journey, what a story you've had so far, Randy. Quite quite impressive. Thank you, Philip. Thank you.